ladies and gentlemen, comedian, entertainer, Daniel Songer. What do you call a guy that likes to get his butt spanked? Pat Trick, I want to entertain you. Who wants to have a competition in farting? Do you want to do something dirty? Yeah, I mean, it just, woo! I'm telling you. That literal road comic is Daniel Songer, and those are just a few of his 242 free YouTube comedy acts. <laughs> Your move, Louis C.K. He's got the right idea. Crowds are my least favorite part of stand-up. Comedy clubs are where sad people pay to see other sad people tell their sad jokes. If you want to spend 300 nights a year contemplating suicide in a travel lodge, being a comic is a pretty sweet gig. Which coast is the best for comedy? That depends. New York, you can practice your crowd work eight times a night in some horrible basements. L.A., you just get to read your snarky tweets to a room full of meaningless bloggers. <laughs> Athletes peak in their early 30s, but comedians can keep honing their craft until they're too old to make sense anymore. Did anyone understand anything Bill Cosby was talking about in his last special? <laughs> I've met every great stand-up, and I promise you, none of them are geniuses. They're just insecure, jealous, morally bankrupt monsters that are funnier than your friends. <laughs> but even if you never truly succeed as a stand-up, it's good to know you can always get a fallback job hosting The Tonight Show. <laughs> like Russell Brand, Songer just wants to be a comedian without any writing, practice, or punchlines. So I flew him to Hollywood, where people become stand-ups because they're not stupid enough to be actors. And this week's Web Redemption. Today, we're in a Boeing 757, operated by America's laziest airline, United. Introduced in 1981, the 757 is powered by Pratt & Whitney PW2000 series turbofans. The wings are designed for improved takeoff performance, a higher cruising altitude, and plowing through tall office buildings. Hi, I'm Daniel Tosh, and this is Comedians and Coach getting complimentary beverages. Daniel Songer, comedian, entertainer. I'm glad you're on my flight. Thank you. Good to see you. Oh. Hi. Hi. Hello. Just so you know, I have a very severe peanut allergy. Oh, good. What can I get you? Ooh, can I have a bag of peanuts, please? Sure. Here you go. I'm not gay. And that's how you turn coach into economy plus. I'll have a ginger ale, and can I keep the can? Here you go. I'm not gay. Uh, anything for you, sir? I'll have an orange juice, and can I keep the carton? <laughs> I'm not gay. Not that there's anything wrong with that. How'd you get into comedy? One day, I'm sitting with my family, and I said something that was very comic. Everybody kept saying, you know, you need to be a comedian. Mm -hmm. And that's what started Comedy Act 1 that incremented Dan all the way to Comedy Act 242. So you've done comedy 242 times. Yeah, it equates to about 60 hours. Every time you sit down on your seat, you're going to be a fart smeller. Who's filming most of the time? I have a tripod, and so I do everything by myself. I think you're on something. You don't swear a lot on stage, do you? I wanted to write material that was for everybody, even for handicapped people. It's like if somebody... I'll be honest, when I saw you dancing, I thought you were handicapped. Okay, I know, I know. A lot of performers don't wear shorts. You always wear shorts. The reason I think you wear shorts is because you have amazing calves. Thank you. I dance for like 10 hours straight. And that's why I've developed those calves, so... How'd you come up with that turnaround move that you start your show with? I create new dances all the time. You ever been married? I've been married, and it just it didn't work out. Do you date a lot? No. No, I haven't been out in years. And, uh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> now you know why my legs are so strong. Huh? <laughs> uh, no, I don't. What car you drive? Dodge. Dodge. It's an American car. I'm from Detroit. You better not show up in Detroit 
with a Hyundai. Oh, you wouldn't believe back in our days. If you had a foreign car, they'd throw bowling balls off of bridges. That can kill somebody, though. It did finally kill somebody, and okay. they stopped doing it. Well, that's it. a great story. Do uh, you have any material about planes, about flying in airplanes? It's funny because, you know, you're at the window. <laughs> so, let me look through it, you know? What is that out there? <laughs> You got the window, buddy. All right, I, 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 I see what you're going. Yeah, I've got yeah. the window. Please be my savior. I first wrote my first book, I'm a Statue, and then I wrote Heaven's Headline News, oh, and wow. then Jesus' Poetic Song. And you wrote all the songs? Yeah. There's no music. No, but I know how they go, though. I have a melody to all of them. So I need to have you at my house when I'm reading it? That would be very kind. <laughs> Every one of them is individually copyrighted. You can't just copyright the whole book. You have to copyright each page. Each song I copyrighted. It got very expensive. <laughs> You're f***ing crazy. All right, Daniel, you've been on the road for how many years? Five Five years. years. That's long enough. You deserve a special, and I'm going to make that happen. How's the crowd looking? Oh, there is no crowd. You ready? Yeah, let's go. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, comedian, entertainer, Daniel Soldier. <laughs> Hello. down at Cocoa Beach, Florida, and I was walking down the beach. Well, it came time to that time where I had to go to the bathroom. How many people out there are married? I can't hear you. Ma'am, you know, where are you from? You're from Hollywood. Holly, Hollywood. I get off the first exit, and there's a thousand cats with their paws in the air. Get back on the road. Wind me up. Why, Neil, didn't your representative tell you that I'm a flaming transvestite? And then the building inspector showed up. Here come the tears. I can't get no broken record. Well, that's my two hours. Thank you. Good night. You can see Daniel Songer this weekend in Tampa at the intersection of Dale Mabry and Village Drive. <laughs> Hopefully you get a red light.